Welcome to Discover Ramona, where we explore the people, places, and businesses that make it the best place to live. I'm your host, Valley, and I'm here with my co-host, Jan Ryan. Welcome, Jan. Good to see you. Good to see you, Valley. Good to be here. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. So I know we have this new NAR settlement. The, the Buyer's Agents Commission is on the table. It's active. Tell us and your clients a little bit about like how you're navigating it and what it is. Yeah, it's so interesting because it started in August, so it is alive and well right now. And I think it's a great thing for buyers and agents because it really clarifies what we do for buyers. Mm -hmm. And it gives the buyers an opportunity to weigh in on that. And then I find it's negotiated with the seller. So mm -hmm. it's been all across the board situation depending, but I think it's really great mm -hmm. for everybody. And I think in, especially in a... Um kind of like a neutral market we're in that it makes sense that both sides of the table get paid. Um, maybe more in a seller's market it, that those buyers agents commissions might dissipate, but right now it's pretty neutral, you know? Yeah. And I think you hit the nail on the head. It is more of a neutral market right now, which is so interesting because mm -hmm. it has been such a seller's market. So it's yeah. nice to see things even out. All right, Jan. So who did you bring for us today? Well, I am super excited. I have Helen Wilson today. She is the director of the Art Center of Ramona. All right, let's meet her. Let's meet her. Welcome to the show, Helen. Thank you for being here. Oh, thanks. Okay, it's so tell us, tell us a little bit about what it is that you do and how you contribute to Ramona. Um, well, I went to high school in Ramona to start with. Mm -hmm. I've lived other places in the world, but I found myself back here in Ramona again. And in 2014, I started the Art Center of Ramona with several friends um, because one of the things I noticed about the arts in the backcountry is that a lot of artists thought they were alone. They did mm -hmm. not know that there were so many artists living in the backcountry. Mm -hmm. And so it was this idea of a way to bring together traditional arts, conceptual arts, mm. expressive arts, all in the same area, and then to share that with the community and mm. to invite the community in as well. And it's called the Art Center of Ramona? Yes. Okay. And is it age, does it range in age? Is it, do you have even youth? Uh, we art have art there? classes. Uh-huh. And so we have uh, youth summer classes, okay. and we also are about ready to start some new youth programs for the winter session. Um, so yeah, it does range in ages. Yeah. Cool. Can you tell us a little bit about what is in your center? What are oh, the pieces? So we are two nonprofits under one roof. So okay. we are in the same building as To Create Gallery. Mm -hmm. And they run the gallery on the weekends, and we run our classes and our talks um, on the weekdays mm. and occasionally on the weekend evenings as well. So we share the exhibition space. We do every other month as to the exhibitions for our first Fridays mm -hmm. when they open. Mm -hmm. So we're sort of sharing that space. I like that. Yeah. What do you think, Jan? I think it's so great for Ramona. It's so Ramona where they bring artists, musicians, and everything together. Yes. Yeah, we have had music there as well, and um, oh, wow. it's been lovely to see all of these communities growing in Ramona since I've been there for such a long time. Yeah. It's really been a lovely thing to watch it grow. One thing you mentioned, which I thought was kind of neat, was that you created this with friends. You said some of your friends yes. are? Okay. Yes. Uh, so I believe the first people to just start the conversations was uh, Regina Wilson and Lark Burkhart, she helped us with the nonprofit mm. portions of it. And then Pamela Underwood was there at the beginning mm -hmm. stages. These are all artists in the community. Mm -hmm. And um, there are so many artists to name because it has been since the plein air artists started mm -hmm. in the late 1800s were painting wow. in the back countries nice. there. So it has a very long history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you pick the pieces that get to stay in your center? So um, that is actually the job of To Create Gallery, although right okay. now I am the curator for their regular shows and okay. their monthly shows. Um, so she, it's we're not about exhibiting the art okay. as much as she is about mm -hmm. exhibiting the art of local artists. And so in a way that meets some of our vision statement, it does give a place for local artists to exhibit their work. 
uh, we tend to concentrate on a show every month mm. and each one has a different theme according to the we do a show for the Ramona Unified School District every mm -hmm. year um, we I also run a group called Tuesday Nights and it's a I give a group of artists professionals and non-professionals anybody that feels the creative urge um, I give them a theme and they work for about six months and then they get together and have a show and that's the exhibition that's up right now oh, nice is you can work in whatever media you want. It's wherever the muse leads you. So um, that's the sort of things that we do. Okay. Yeah. What have some of your experiences been with the Art Center? Well, I went to the To Create Gallery. It's mm -hmm. amazing the variety of artists yes, there. I was super important. blown away yeah. by the quality mm -hmm. and some of the... I just want to bring my pocketbook. <laughs> <laughs> so it was great. And the other thing that I find so awesome that you're doing is working with the students. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now I'm about ready to start working with uh, the high school students with the Ramona Heart Mural Project. As I said, there's a lot of people doing arts in Ramona. Um, and they're going to start a youth mural project. And I'm going to be heading that with Liz Shoddy, who is the art teacher at the high school. Love that. So we're going to be working together on that one. We also do a free second Saturday class uh, where we bring in different artists to uh, whatever your description is of family. Anybody with family can come into it. Hmm. And um, we hire different instructors to give different lessons to the community for free. And then we also have our regular schedule. We have uh, Stan Gowdy, Lynn Fedner, uh, Marsha Cook and myself, we have a whole group of artists that teach lessons that you can come in and take a, an eight week class or a once a month class or a once a week class. And those are all on our website and they change four times a year. Have you found yeah. anyone that took one of the classes and then just took off? Found oh, their absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I see that actually quite frequently. People, they, um, art's an interesting thing. People, it's amazing how much fear is associated with arts. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Um, I also teach at Palomar College, so I teach art at the college. And it is, there is so much fear wrapped up with uh, whether it's going to be accepted or not accepted or whether it's good enough or not good enough. And it often kind of blocks their own creative flow because they're so worried about what the end product is that makes sense you know Never but it takes that. so much work just constantly like to learn to draw there is only one way to learn to draw and that is to draw mm. so i jokingly tell the students that they make these big round containers for the drawings they don't like and huh? that it takes over two thousand drawings to start getting where you have a handle on how to draw and you might as well just get started Mm -hmm. And yeah. not worry about the end product because it is the arts from, especially now with conceptual arts, it is so based in process, on the process of doing the art instead of the end product of the art. Mm. I love it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Where? Which way do you lean artistically? Are you a painter, a drawer? What are you? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, all of the above. Yeah. Um, I tend to use a media according to what it is I'm trying to express at the time. Okay. So I have some bronze works. Oh. Um, some small baby fetuses that I had done mm -hmm. um, that was talking about how we come into the world and what society we are born into uh, reflect who we become. Mm -hmm. So uh, bronze was the best thing for that because mm -hmm. the idea of bronzing baby shoes and that nostalgia mm -hmm. that's associated with childhood. But then I also have sculptures that are mixed media sculptures where I take toys ceramic baby heads and I combine them together oh, wow. because what you play with makes you who you are. I also have large oil paintings that I do where it's that moment when you stare into a fetus, a fetus, I'm sorry, a child's face and you see the adult in the child and I'm playing with that and archetypes. Mm -hmm. So those are about five foot tall, large infant faces. Oh, wow. I also have a series of vellum drawings um, that are, the vellum is because it's architectural, it reminds you of architectural drawings, and it's that relationship between how you came into the world and what you become, so it's the child and its skeleton, mm -hmm. and there's subtle differences between the two, but those are paired with toys and their skeletons. Mm -hmm. 
So a good way to um, talk about that is the teddy bear. If you take a bear and you turn it to a toy, does it still have claws and fangs? Mm, oh, so that idea of what how you come into the world stays with you um, as you mature and change. So it's that it's a common question to say what do you use, and I have to always say all of the above. Awesome. Yeah. And how many artists do you have coming in typically um, to the to, to the, both, like the to create and then oh, also. Oh, okay. So um, to create, I think right now she has 16 different artists. I could have that number wrong, but she has 16 different artists on that on the walls right now. And they pay a yearly fee, which helps uh, with the cost of it. But the um, art center, we pay a rental per class as we're doing it so that we can all sort of balance it out. Yeah, and... Um, our classes average from, they can be as small as five to up to, we try to never have them more than 20 mm -hmm. because you want that intimate connection with your teacher. Mm -hmm. And what classes really do you specifically have? Do you have just all kinds? Like uh, well, Stan okay. Gowdy is teaching a watercolor and uh, acrylic painting. And he's a well-known uh, painter. He's in the San Isabel Gallery as well. Um, and then we also have Lynn Fedner, who's a known uh, fusing, glass fusing artist. Mm. And she teaches classes on fusing and That's metal cool. bending. Um, Marcia started as a person that brought in recycled art, but she has transitioned from the recycled art um, to the children's teacher at this point. Uh, I teach drawing. I also teach a woman's uh, retreat called uh, The Artist Revival, mm -hmm. and it is about reconnecting to your own uh, symbols, your own visual language that you use. And mm -hmm. so that's a class that I teach as well. Yeah. And what's where's the best place to find your classes or to sign oh, up? Oh, on the website. Yeah. The Art Center of Vermont the website. Center. Right, Ramona. The of is removed. That's the okay. difference. The full name is the Art Center of Ramona, and the website is the Art Center Ramona. Okay. Yeah. So look for that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And that's we'll always have the classes showing up on that. And if somebody has no idea where you're located, where is that? Um, Obviously in Ramona. Uh, in Ramona <laughs> on Main Street. And you were going to laugh because right now I forgot the... Well, that's okay. Oh, on Main Street. Street. That's <laughs> <minus 238. laughs> yeah, that yeah. second... Yeah, it's that. It's all yeah. the way down towards the end. Yeah, know. out in the... And out. there's a large mural in front of it. Okay. And that is mine. I yeah, painted that That's how mural. we know how we locate things in the country. Yeah. The yeah. 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 <laughs> Valley knows. looking for addresses. <laughs> right, yeah, for landmarks. Said, right. Yeah. yeah. The large mural of the <laughs> crows in the tree. Wonderful. With a golden rectangle. That's... I think people p could probably go to your website and find out a lot of information. Mm -hmm. Probably visuals a lot more than we can even explain here. So. Yeah. Um, I am fascinated by your story and what you do yeah. for the city of Ramona. Oh. And um, is there anything else that you can think of that we need to know about her? I just thank you so much for yeah. what you do for Ramona. Oh, we welcome. appreciate you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching Discover Ramona, and we'll see you next time. Okay. That was awesome. Oh, you okay. great. You jumped right in.